Hi everyone, it's Molly. Hope you're doing well. I'm going to walk you through this piece that I have made and it went through so many stages. So where you see it right now, I had already laid down just a base of acrylic blended colors of gray and white and black. I then had started layering in some alcohol inks and my paint was still a little bit wet and if you apply metallic alcohol ink over paint, especially if it's not dry yet, the alcohol ink will tend to crack and break a little bit. It does give a great textured look. I just felt like the painting needed a little bit more, it was kind of all over the place. So I came in with some regular tube metallics after this had dried and sat for about a week or two. And I started to just play around and add some shading and add in some metallic color to some of the, of the spots. So depending on the paint brand metallic that you use, some of those metallics will be opaque and some of them will be transparent. And so if you brush them on lightly, then you can almost get a wash over your colors. So I'm using copper, bronze, a bright gold, an old gold, and a graphite to basically blend in some of the areas and add some more interest to this. I thought the regular acrylic paint really complemented the alcohol inks that I had originally placed on there. When I'm starting a piece from scratch and I have no idea in my head what is going to come out, a lot of times I'll paint part of it and then just let it sit for a while. And I just kind of look at it and think, what else does this need to make it complete? And sometimes you can overdo it, but a lot of times adding to paintings or letting them sit and revisiting them is just something that is, is really nice to do and can really advance your artwork. And I know inevitably someone is going to say that I should have put this on a table because I'm going to hurt my back. And you're right. <laughs> it was tough bending over doing this. But sometimes it's just nice to be barefoot and on the floor and just with your piece of art. I will show you at the end of the video what I do because there's a lot more that I did to it than what you'll see here but I forgot to video part of it, the beginning, and then at the end, I last minute added some crushed glass that you'll see. So here, I decided that I was going to paint over this again and drip some more alcohol ink on there. I dripped it right on top of the paints that I had just painted and I'm pouring it straight out of the bottle and it's just kind of giving these little blobs that I don't care for. So what you're gonna see me do here is take a little piece of tissue paper. You could do this with a brush as well and I'm just kind of creating little wispies around and trying to kind of play with it and get some type of composition in the middle. This video is cut and edited so you won't see all the time it took for me to really look at it, step back, think about it, take a break, come back to it. But that is really what art is about for me. Just looking at it, finding places where things should go, what kind of finishes and creates a composition. That's what I love about art. And sometimes when I'm doing fluid art, those are the things that I miss from my brushwork paintings. The things that I don't miss are the amount of time and scrutiny on myself, thinking that it's not good enough or that it doesn't look realistic enough. And that's why I love abstract art, hands down. 
So here I'm just doing the same thing again, just taking a little piece of paper towel, you could use a brush or a sponge, and just creating some extra kind of lines and definition. And the alcohol inks, the metallics are amazing. They dry with such a beautiful shine. I did fully varnish this painting before I put the crystals and the crushed glass on so that I could protect all of the paints and the inks. And the inks did not move, the metallics did not move when I brushed the varnish on as well. It went on nice and clear. So this is golden fluid acrylics. And what you're gonna see here is me dropping this on in little droplets, and then I'm going to add water to this. And the white kind of spreads out and gets this very hazy look. So you can't see it really here, but I'm spritzing and spraying water on those parts. Now I will say, while I do this, it looks great, but if you move your painting at all, or if you spray too much water on the already fluid acrylics, they will crack and break. And you can see there how they start spreading out and almost like little dendrites start coming off of them. Now I decided I'm going to add some really harsh lines because there was so much chaos in the middle that I just thought kind of painting out some very, you know, I don't, I, I say harsh, but then it, it's really honestly peaceful to me because it's large blocks of color. It lets the eye rest just a little bit. The piece that I'm working on up top, it really reminds me of some type of flower. Maybe not a sunflower, but maybe like a sunflower and dandelion mixed together. But this piece is really just about creativity. I had no idea where I was going to go with this. And I challenge you to sit down with a blank canvas and no plan whatsoever. And if you do, let me know what you make. I would be so interested to know. So here, because that reminded me of a flower, I'm just kind of brushing in some lines to give some movement, almost that it, it looks like little petals that are flowing through in the wind. I'm going through an almost like a 3D look, highlighting some of the black areas again, so that the metallics that are in the middle can really pop against the background. And again, it's giving your eye a focal point throughout all the chaos that's there in the middle. This was a true mixed media piece for me, and I'm really, really proud of it. It took months to actually finish the painting, came back to it bit and bit, time and time again, adding a little bit more, and I just really fell in love with the process. And you really have to trust the process. This is, you know, it looks like nothing when you start. But then when you step back and get the full picture, I personally think it's really, really interesting. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions. And you can catch the end of the video where you will see how I added the crushed glass. And I show you the final result. Thank you so much. 
So this one is a little hard to get all in camera because it's three feet by four feet. But I just wanted to show you some of kind of the details up close and I'll tell you what I ended up doing to this afterwards. So I really liked what I had gotten and I just felt like it needed something a little bit more. I really love kind of the play on kind of organic shapes and then adding some of like the geometric shapes in there. I really just, I just like how this looks. Now what I did, I dyed crushed glass with alcohol ink and added that on and I attached it with resin and I just feel like it gave it kind of the extra texture and pop that it needed. But this was just so much fun to play around with. So like I said, it has acrylic paint as the backdrop. It's got alcohol ink. It's got crushed glass. This is a true mixed media piece. Look at how that glistens. It has fluid acrylics on top. That's the white and you can, let me see if I can find kind of how it, how it spreads out the fluid acrylic once you put the water on it. And I will say sometimes that fluid acrylic, if you spray it too much, it will break. Let me see if I can find like that right there. You can see it, but Oops, got you out of focus. But the texture in this is just amazing. I really don't mind it at all. I'm gonna try to back up from the table so that you can see it. So I hope that you liked this one. I've been trying a ton of different things, just really getting my creativity out and on canvas instead of in my head and it's really, just really pushing me to try to be better. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Yep, be painting. Bye.